Greetings, board members, fellow analysts, and guests. Today, I, Owen Sunbaum, and my friends, Gordon Melander and Jonathan Engstrom, have a very exciting presentation for you. Today, we have the opportunity to present our number one stock pick, Plug Power. All right, so I will begin this segment to give an overview of their product, which are hydrogen fuel cells. So to begin it, Plug Power engineers and designs hydrogen fuel cells used for multiple purposes. To start off, we have vehicles. They can provide electricity for semi-trucks, cars, and even smaller transport modes, such as ATVs and motorbikes. Second of all, they, they can provide electricity for logistics equipment, such as forklifts and automatic guided vehicles, AGVs. And last of all, we have put others here. The reason for this is what it means is that Plug is able to draft unique concepts suited for a firm specific purpose meaning there is a lot of room for flexibility. And next off, we have what they offer. Fuel cells offer 84% lower operational costs compared to your standard combustion engine. So not only are they cheaper to operate, they're also around 30% more energy efficient than a combustion engine. Next, they have longer lasting charges compared to batteries, but not only are the charges longer lasting, they are also fastest at charging and refueling than any other modern day option. Let's, I'll give an example here. Uh, let's say a hydrogen semi truck was to refuel. It would take five minutes max, whereas a diesel truck could take around 30 minutes total. And lastly, the most important one, fuel cells offer zero emissions. Plug Power is a company that emphasizes zero emission processes, and this is why they are unique. I actually have a quick video here. I'll show you guys. It explains how the fuel cell works. So hang in there. is 40 seconds. Hold on. <laughs> All right. So moving on, we have important factors. Here I will discuss relevant news and just sort of key things that you need to know. So beginning the segment, I will discuss quickly the important partnerships that Plug has, which are Amazon, Home Depot, and Walmart. Now, these are the plug's main source of income. And what they do for them is provide hydrogen refueling stations within their logistics warehouses. And they also provide them with fuel cells. Uh, next, history has shown that Democrats favor the renewable energy sector. And newly elected President Biden has promised to help lower the country's total carbon footprint. And with this being said, the United States could potentially and most likely invest into this sector. 
which would drastically change the total amount of funds available for plug. And lastly here, tighter regulations. Now I have an example as well. So recently, as you may know, the state of California has posed a ban on new gas powered vehicles by the end of 15 years. So over time, states and other countries will eventually make the switch to clean energy alternatives as well. Lastly here, I will discuss the market share, which is around $27 right now per share, but they have been fluctuating quite a bit for the past two months. So if you look in the top right, I have put the market highs and lows throughout plugs, uh, stocks history throughout five year intervals. And if you look on the far left on the chart, you will notice a very steep price of $156 per share. This was in plugs initial public offering stage. So it is safe to say that it was overbought at the time, considering hydrogen energy was uh, very futuristic back in the uh, early 2000s, but I'll explain what happened uh, as they were crashing and why they ended up at such a low price real quick. So in around May 20 or in around May 2000, as plug was already crashing due to being overbought, they announced that initial pre-commercial units of residential power or residential fuel cells would require grid power to operate. Now, this was very contradictory since a residential power generator required natural gas in order to generate electricity. But this change in product specs also violated the agreement with General Electric Power Systems. So that is why they fell so drastically. And since then, Plug has changed their ways by solely producing their power from clean energy alternatives. So that's good. And the renewable energy sector has a lot of potential growth. And with this being said, it is also important to note that the United States is the world leader in energy production, supply, and total consumption. So moving on next, we have Jonathan. Yeah, thank you, Owen. Uh, so uh, the owner or the CEO of the company is named Andrew Marsh and he joined the company in 2008. He has an estimated net worth of over $26 million with over 500,000 units of plug power stocks. He has over 20 years of experience in leadership, working as a former CEO and co-founder of Valier Power that achieved a $90 million revenue in the telecommunication sector. Uh, the three biggest shareholders of the company are BlackRock, Vanguard, and Shaw. And you can see that over 50% of the shares are held by institutions. So there's a lot of different owners, which means that the influence is not held by a single owner. Uh, so one could argue that the effect of some of the biggest investment companies and most successful in the USA gives the company a great sense of responsibility. You can change slide, thank you. Uh, so there's a lot of new companies in the hydrogen market trying to compete. But we chose to look at uh, the two biggest competitors that we can find, and that is Bloom Energy and Ballard Power Systems, which is shown in the graph below. And as you can see in the graph, uh, plug power is the blue line. So you can see at the last year, they have really gone through the roof. Uh, and all these companies can be bought on the stock market. And Plug Power has by a large margin, the biggest market cap you can find. The company was found, founded in 1997 in the USA. Bloom Energy was also founded in the USA in 2001. And Ballard Power Systems was founded in 1979 and has its headquarters in Canada. Uh, the beauty of the stock, uh, hydrogen stock market is that it's in the early stages with a very high potential to grow by a large amount. 
This means that the current day companies have a lot of opportunities for the future. Most of the companies will find their niche. So if you look at Plug Power, as Owen said, they are in logistics and uh, forklifts. And Ballard Power Systems, they are more into the heavy duty models for buses and ships, for example. And Bloom Energy focuses on generators, not even 100% green energy. Uh, so all of these, uh, the Plug Power's competitors can be seen as indirect competitors. But all the companies share the interest in expanding global, globally, which means that in the future they could become uh, direct competitors. Uh, so, uh, yeah, and all you can argue that all of these companies are working together and trying to uh, compete with um, the already existing energy alternatives, such as coal and oil. So you can say that they work in this symbiosis to fill this new hydrogen market. Yes, Owen, thank you. Uh, so some of the challenges and opportunities for the future. Uh, one of the biggest key challenges is developing the hydrogen highway, which currently exists in the North America with 100 fueling stations installed. So if they want to expand the more in the country or even globally, they have to build this net of uh, fuel stations and that will cost a lot of money and a lot of time and resources. Uh, and uh, given that recent increase at the stock market, the companies gain a lot of attention, which means that they get a lot of opportunities. The companies looking into future, future co uh, cooperations with, for example, the car industry. And when the CEO was asked openly in an interview if we would like to work with Tesla, he said uh, that nothing was impossible and uh, every company that wants to work with the green hydrogen they should look into working with plug power. Yeah, uh, so what does uh, give plug power the competitive ad advantage. We have two main points. The first is that he, it has the highest market cap. Uh, so the increase of the market cap shows that plug, uh, plug power is one of the leaders in hydrogen economy and gives the company a lot of attention, which creates opportunities for further growth. And the second is that it's green hydrogen. The company is unique in the way that it only produces zero emission hydrogen which gives the company a competitive advantage in the long run. It, ma it matches the global trend of building a sustainable future for the next generations. Uh, plug Power is ahead of its competition in developing green hydrogen on an industri industrial scale. The hydrogen market uh, does also have very high potential for growth, which would really benefit Plug Power in the long run. Given all these factors analyzed and all the things we've said in the previous chapters, we can conclude that companies that want to be a part of the innovating future with zero emission fuel, Plug Power is the best suited company to work with. Yeah, Gordon, your time to shine. Thank you. So um, first of all, Plug's financials and ratios might not be anything to praise if you compare them to well-established and large companies on the US market. Though it is important to note that the hydrogen industry isn't not as well developed yet, and therefore it has been difficult for the companies operating in this industry to show a stable growth and positive earnings. By looking at the numbers, one can see that Plug has been struggling to generate profits. Though, like mentioned, our analysis and recommendation of this company are mainly based on future prospects regarding macroeconomic and political factors supporting the green energy sector, and not necessarily the historical financial performance. However, in the table you can see the earnings and ratios for the last five years, as well as a comparison to one of the competitors, Bloom Energy, like Jonathan mentioned before. As can be seen, Bloom Energy is weaker in all the first rows for the 2019 fiscal year, except for the revenues, which is a bit higher. In the last row, we can see that Plug and Bloom Energy had a similar market value 
by the end of 2019. But if we look at the same numbers today, uh, you can see that Plug's market cap has increased by almost 800%, while Bloom only has a 200% increase, stating that the market apparently values Plug's business higher. In the recent years, Plug has focused a lot in developing their technologies, as well as taking on market shares. For that reason, they have financed their business operation with both large loans and stock issues in order to expand. Accordingly, their debt to equity ratio can be a bit deceptive for the end of 2018, which indicates a high leverage and high risk to shareholders. However, their, their debt to equity ratio has been between six and one for uh, uh, this year, which indicates that the stock shows a lower risk to shareholders at the moment. If we go to the next slide, uh, we have cre created a table where we compare the 2020s quarters with the same from last year for, uh, for Plug Company. And uh, we can see that uh, revenues are showing a large increase compared to last year. Also, Plug has beaten analysts' expectations for five quarters in a row, which is one of the reasons Plug share price has jumped in value in recent months. And uh, on the next slide, you can see a graphically overview of Plug's earnings. Due to the company's large investments, like I mentioned, we can see that the net earnings and net profit margin have shown varying results the last five years, while revenue has shown a, a somehow steady increase. And moving on to the technical analysis. Uh, first of all, we see that tradingview.com recommends a buy action as of late November on all moving average applied to plugs technical indicators. As can be seen, moving average for both 5, 10, 20, 30 and 50 days shows a positive pattern according to the website's analysts. And the several other financial agencies including Wall Street Journal, also recommend a buy action at the moment, although the stock has shown an extreme bull trend the last couple of month, months. Sorry. And uh, one of the simplest strategies when it comes to analyzing a short is called the ABCD pattern, meaning when, when the price gets to D, uh, like we can see on the picture to the right hand side, we should likely see another down curve like we did between B and C. Therefore, it could be smart to wait before buying since the stock may go down a bit in price before possibly going up again. However, this is mostly applicable when using a short term strategy, uh, which is not the case for us and plug may as well go up even more before hitting a break in the upward trend. And that's all I had for the technical analysis and now over to Owen again, who will finish off with our uh, conclusion. Thank you. So here I will be giving our final statement on Plug Power. So Plug Power is the most established hydrogen company in the United States. Even though their financials aren't anything to praise, it is their progress of staying afloat for the past 20 years that is admirable. 20 years ago, people were not talking about climate change nearly as much as they are now. However, we are into the 2020s, where scientists have spoken on the topic and how there is an urgent need for change within the fuel industry. With President Biden in office, a Democrat, Plug Power is more likely to see a significant growth as the president highlights the renewable energy sector. When it comes to mass transportation of goods and common supply chain logistics, hydrogen will be the next alternative to both diesel and petroleum. We do not have the technology to efficiently power semi trucks with electricity. However, hydrogen has both the power output and performance ratios to be the next big thing. With this being said, we believe there is no better time than to buy into plug power than now. So thank you for listening. We are very appreciative to be here today. Thank you.